A duel is a battle of wills, and the sword an extension of the duelist's spirit. If your heart recoils in fear, then your sword may as well be in its scabbard, because you will not wield it effectively against your foe. Hola a todos, bienvenidos a Genshin Impact en vivo. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a seguir haciendo la quest. Vamos a seguir haciendo la quest de verano y vamos a hacer eh, sí, dominios. Vamos a hacer dominios. Hey, hola, ya está recalidado un calentamiento. Hey, hola, ya lo tienes todo listo para emprender tu viaje a Natlan. Alguien que te pueda ayudarte en Nathan, una nación de la que raya. A todo el mundo le encanta luchar ahí con el camino. Así que antes de partir, que tal vez peleamos, porque que la gente no hace daño, ¿verdad? Eh, no te preocupes por mí. Hice una larga pausa para no preocupar a mi familia. De hecho, si no hago algo de ejercicio, pronto será peor para el cuerpo. Ah, toma, aquí tienen los botines que conseguí, en, conseguí de esa ballena. La emoción de la batalla es suficiente para mí. Entonces, ¿qué me dices? Mi familia también se sentía tranquila sabiendo que me reuniré contigo. Necesitamos un chungo de dominios. Sí, hacer dominios. Si hago normalmente, hago. Serían 8. Porque haría 4 hoy, 4 mañana. Serían 8. Ups. Dios, María 2, me faltarían 3 dominios. Me va a tocar con. In my role as champion duelist, my opinions do not matter. For when I draw my blade, I am but an idiot. Morning. Guess everything that happened yesterday wasn't just a dream, then. We should head to the station Grandpa Almond told us about. gets to stake their claim. Seems fair. items are unclaimed, we may take them without controversy.
Muy bien, damas y caballeros, de piernas fuertes, la competición de salto está que arde. Cander, valiente, están peor en nuestro lo que es capaz. Es un caballero verdadero, no mira, le salto lejos, con firmarse y no es extrañar que sean los favoritos en esta competencia. A ver, son el más perro para todos, el incomparable Faro Bear. Eh, ¿Quién será el campeón que tendrá el honor de salvar a la princesa? Vamos a una hora de pausa para que los dos aspirantes descansen antes de que comience la ronda final. En lugar de la competencia estará su esposo en momento, así que adelante, salta en su gusto, que para eso está el estanque canto de la vida. Pero ahora está imperfecto, la mesa está ready, al final todas las ranas estarán presentes. Esto se va a pero yo. Aunque el presidente tiene tiempo para descansar un poco. Después de todo, pero necesita tiempo para saber cómo comer el pueblo. Está en tu vuelta, lo siento bien, creo que. No se te cubra, creo que, por favor. Confía en ti, si no te recuerdo. Ah, descansa, lo necesitas. Acuérdate, no lo necesito. Vistans, vienes hasta en que canto, supongo que viene a ver la competencia, ¿cierto? Ya que en un buen y mal momento, que apenas está, se me pero solo queda la final. Veo que no hay un favor, pero si están pegando son torres, sin embargo, según la experiencia de favor, tú serás el campeón. La vida es alta, favor, lo supera con creces, cualquier hora, además, ya que en un número de sustitutos lo convierte en construir en el más fuerte. Las piernas más fuertes, la mente más ágil, el cartón es lo más importante, siempre seguir en el compartiendo hasta en que salta en el resto de las ramas. Stamper, igual que ya en el principio de él, lo respetan los creemos y confiamos en él, ¿no? Que puede conseguir otra vez en esa competencia. Pero en shock, que la final nunca pensaba voy a practicar un rato aquí, a probar bueno, bueno, la siguiente competencia. ¿En quién podemos practicar juntos? A lo mejor tienen alguien a probar de probar sons. ¿Salían compitiendo hasta escribir la rana que salvará la princesa? Por supuesto, está compitiendo no solo para elegir la rana que salvará la princesa. Lo importante es que la combinación es sencilla, los valores que hacen sencilla, sí. confianza en uno y tenés en valentía. Solo la rana que entienda que posee estos valores por hacer sitio con el campo de una. Vamos, estoy hablando tanto a ver si con este lo pagamos de este porte crack. Arts are too profound to convey in a few simple words. Oh, but why must the listener grow weary when it... I begin to divulge them. Nesta nada, el pasado no para este porto. Si tienes tiempo libre, estoy dispuesto a recomendar y comentar la competencia. Ahí podemos competir en otra ocasión. No es que tengas tiempo y nada, como no puedo pasar. Jeje, ya tenemos que ver nada, vamos a ganar. Jeje, les vas a aprender que tienen que pagar un poco de negros. Practicar movimientos básicos y no te de hecho lo he visto un poco usante. Bueno, creo que no, 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 que tú no me haces que eso, ¿verdad? Pero de frente al que no me hagan nada. Estoy de acuerdo, pero. El gobierno está de favor, tú no me levantas pronto. Correcto, ahí practiquen eso. Si te pasas dando vueltas por los errores, al final te vas a probar, así que no se la pego. Yeah. 
Said you. Uh, time to get to work, you lazy bones. Oh, 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 I can't, uh, can't remember how to call the train. Just let me sleep a little longer, and I'm sure I'll remember. Don't try to pull one over on me, young man. Your fading disorder has been cured. I saw you chugging cup after cup of magic tonic in the tavern last night. Uh. You must be mistaken, Grandpa Alman. That guy definitely wasn't me. Oh, you remember my name now, do you? Then it seems like you're all better. You had no idea who I was when you were fainting. Now, enough of your nonsense. Get up. The fairy and her friends are going to be here any second. All right. I'm up. I'm up. Maritime Express should be here soon. <laughs> That's more like it. Ah, lie there any longer and you'll start gathering dust. Uh, is everything okay? The hero, her pixie companion, and the forest fairy. I didn't know you were already here. Oh, merciful Macadamias. I I'm sorry you had to see that. Oh, it's all right. Paimon knows the feeling. Who doesn't want to sleep in first thing in the morning? Does the Maritime Express run out of Constellation Metropole? Uh, yes, e each train needs a conductor to operate, and the conductors are always from the capital. The more difficult maneuvers are a little too complicated when you're made of paper. Oh, so you mean the people of Constellation Metropole aren't origami animals like you? Well, the, the city welcomes visitors from all over the world, so you're bound to run into some forest dwellers there. But yes, generally speaking, the residents of Constellation Metropole look quite different from us. Ah, you'll see for yourself soon enough. Here comes the train. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, everyone. My name is Will, and I'll be the conductor for your journey today. I'm assuming you're the ones who call the train? Whoa, it's a little toy man! Yes, we, we call the train. The hero and the forest fairy need a ride to Constellation Metropole. The, the hero and the forest fairy? The ones from the prophecy? Oh, why didn't you say so earlier? We could have prepared a far more luxurious train. I'll just go back and get a better one. That's okay, Mr. Wheel. We're trying to get to the city as fast as possible. We just need you to get us across the sea. In your capable hands, I'm sure we'll get there in no time. Uh, of course, my lady. It would be an honor. Well then, all aboard, sit anywhere you like. We'll get a stunning view of Simulanka no matter where you're seated. <sighs> oh, breakfast. <sighs> hmm? Did one of you just say something? It wasn't me either. Uh, breakfast... Um, oh, come back! Hmm... Sounds like the voice is coming from inside the train. <sighs> Fish... Chicken drumsticks... I'll gut ya! Doing here? 
está mordiendo a la cara. Is she a friend of yours? Oh, let Paimon introduce you. This is Kirara. She's. Oh wait, actually, maybe we should wake her up first. So noisy. Is it morning already? Yeah, it's you. Oh, morning. Huh? Huh? Traveler, Paimon, it's you. Which means. Oh, thank goodness. It was all a dream after all. <laughs> oh, gotta hand it to my imagination. It all felt super real. There were these toy people, but they were alive and they could talk. Ahem. <clears throat> Madam, sleeping overnight in the train car is prohibited. Uh, it, it wasn't just a dream? It's alright, Kimara. Apparently we're in a world called Simulanka. We got here yesterday, too! Simulanka? So, that's what it's called. I spent all day yesterday wandering around this one city. Uh, the toy people called it Constellation Metropole. I was trying to find a way to get back home. <sighs> I was seriously starting to think I had gotten on the bad side of some great yokai and gotten solid whole. Huh. I take it you're Inazuman then, Miss Kirara? She sure is! But, uh, Kirara here is kinda special. Let Paimon introduce you for real this time. Kirara is a Nekomanda from Inazuma. She works as a courier for Komania Express. Huh, nice to meet you. I'm Nilu, a member of Zubair Theater. You can usually find us performing in Sumeru City's Grand Bazaar. Right now, though, I suppose I should introduce myself as the Fairy of the Forest of Blessings. Oh, you're Nilu! I've heard a lot about you from my deliveries in Sumeru. I even saw one of your performances back in the day. You're an amazing dancer. But, uh, did you say you were a... forest fairy? Oh, yeah, that's her new identity here in Simulanka. Oh, speaking of new identities, looks like you got a new outfit yourself, Kirara! Yeah, I know! It confused the heck out of me yesterday. I just woke up in a set of brand new clothes I'd never seen before. That must mean you have a big part to play here too! Is... is that a thing? I guess I am wearing a pair of boots, but still... Did you by any chance hear a voice speaking to you before you got here, Miss Kirara? A voice... Oh, yeah, I did hear something, but I was so freaked out my tails got all tangled, so I, uh, didn't catch much of what was said. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption, but this, uh, Nekomata friend of yours, she doesn't eat hamsters, does she? Or frogs? Oh, no need to worry, little guys. I would never do something like that. Well, unless I'd been out in the wild too long without anything to eat. Oh, speaking of eating, I am getting a little hungry. <coughs> Where are your manners, everyone? This young lady is a trusted friend of our esteemed hero. Now, I know a fear of felines is etched into us with ink, but I'm certain Miss Necromata in boots here means us no harm. It sure looks like you're keeping your distance, though, Grandpa Holmond. <laughs> you all have nothing to fear, I promise. I met some origami animals in Constellation Metropole yesterday, and I even made sure to retract my claws so I didn't hurt them by accident. Plus, you all look just about as tasty as the cardboard boxes I deliver. <laughs> uh, not that I'd try to eat you even if you did look tasty. <laughs> I promise. Please excuse us, Mom. Uh, it's just an unconscious reaction. <clears throat> Dear passengers, it's almost time for us to depart. Oh, yeah, that. Whoops. This turned into a pretty long conversation, didn't it? All 
right, let's get on the train! You coming with us, Kiwara? Mm-hmm. I'll ride with you to the next stop. There's a place near the Metro Bowl that caught my eye yesterday, so I want to go explore it today. Then all that remains for me to say is, on behalf of the Forest of Blessings, thank you once again for all you've done for us. May the Goddess of Fate be with you and bless your journey, Madam Fairy, Miss Nekomata in Boots, and our brave heroes. Please do visit us in the Forest of Blessings again, once peace has returned to this land. We will. We'll definitely meet again. Take care, Grandpa Almond. Falling into the sea. There's a train coming the other way, too. Hey! <laughs> now that the fading disorder is cured, I'm sure the forest will be a lively place again in no time. I gotta go explore that forest at some point. It looked so pretty from the train. I just hope they, uh, won't be too scared of me. We'll be arriving at our destination shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Here we are! Consolation Metropole is right over there. It's a short walk from here to the Gear Sky Ladder, which will take you right to Metropole Square. And thank you again for choosing Maritime Express. Great! And thanks to you for a smooth and pleasant journey, Mr. Wheel. The train cars were comfortable and spacious, and I had a great night's sleep. I'll definitely be back. Um, as you wish, ma'am. <laughs> around yesterday and it felt like there was something weird about it. So, I think I'll indulge my curiosity and go investigate. Want us to come with you? It's okay. You guys go ahead and visit the Metropole for now. Hopefully that's where you'll be able to find out some more about this world. I pretty much explored the whole place from the rooftops yesterday, but for some reason, this is the place that caught my attention. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Like, when you get a stone stuck in your claw or something, it keeps nagging at you to dig it out, but you can't focus on anything else until you do. Don't worry, if you run into any trouble, I'll be there faster than you can say Gold Level Courier of the Comania Express. Okay, fair enough. We'll head to the Metropole then. Guess this is where we say bye for now. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about me. Let's not forget, I'm a yokai. Are you guys already finished with everything in the Metropole? No need to prioritize me. Uh, there's just this place I really want to go check out. Feel free to get back to me once you've got everything sorted out. Great! Let's go! I've delivered packages all over, but I've never seen a mysterious fairy tale world like this before. 
Looks like nobody has gotten around to repairing this house yet. Ugh, even I wouldn't dare to sleep in there. It might suddenly collapse in on you. You wanna check out the area over there? Okay, I'll wait here for you. Nothing to see here either. Maybe we can find someone to ask? You wanna check out the area over there? Okay, I'll wait here for you. Aha! Uh -huh. Over there! I bet we'll find some people there. Let's go take a look! You wanna check out the area over there? Okay, I'll wait here for you. You want to check out the area over there? Okay, I'll wait here for you. be people here. There once was a goddess who ruled over fate. Before she died, she left three riddles for the kingdom she had created. What? Who said that? Long story short, on this day a sentient feline, an outlander, and a uh, diminutive pixie arrived on the scene. They saw a narrow path off to the side. Okay, but which side? Yeah. If you gave ambiguous instructions like that to a Comania Express courier, they'd give you the parcel right back and tell you to write the delivery address more clearly. Despite how obvious the answer was, the perplexed pixie and the flummoxed feline struggled to work it out. Hmm. Although, perhaps a small part of the blame could be attributed to my dull narration. Alright, let's uh, try this again. <clears throat> the path on the left-hand side seemed to give off an enticing fragrance, as if to say, uh, this is the way to wealth and glory. Ooh, that sounds like the start of a good story. Then what? Then what? At the end of the path, the motley crew would soon spot a secret stone room. A prophecy had once foretold of a marquee who shall one day venture inside, and thus it is named the Future Marquis Abode to Be. You like it? The Future Marquis Abode to Be? Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? That was a little bit boastful. But before you continue, I must warn you of the danger. Uh, are you sure you don't want to hear the rest? I'll keep this brief. Firstly, the place ahead of you is a secret. Hear me out, all right? I'm sorry for resorting to extreme measures, but I'm trying to help here. Don't worry, the fencing will disappear as soon as I'm done talking. So are you some sort of fence-spawning yokai? I'll keep this brief. Firstly, the place ahead of you is a secret room whose purpose, per the legends, is to await the arrival of a certain marquee. For that reason, it's called the Future Marquis Abode to Be. Uh, secondly, when you get inside, don't sit on the chair in the center, or bad things will happen. There, that's all. Off you go. <clears throat> so many summers, winters, springs, and falls, and now, at last, a hero hither strides. This realm knows not what lies beyond its walls. Its secrets mystify the world outside. Wait, new voices? Who are they? Skyward! As 
go. No me lo haces todo esto, establece el siguiente pacto. Para el tiempo del momento no nos haremos daño a los Ay, pegamento a los desayunos. A los picos de golpe la que de los dedos. No a ver las condiciones. Porque no sé la verdad, ya tengo plan de calle. Why isn't she reading files on the desk? Hey, Boberano, maybe quit showing off and try using words she'll actually understand. I can either rhyme like a captivated by the epic poetry and enthralled by the outstanding storytelling. The Outlanders knew of their next object. With wood and earthenware strewn all around, the demon feline's fury can't be quelled, reducing them to rubble on the ground. She finds the vessels vacant save for... Uh... Air? She finds... Stop the poem! We have a situation. Something's up with this person. Traveler? Uh, are you alright? It's a parental. <laughs> Come on, you can do it! This can't be how our story ends! What is it? I don't know if you can get a little bit of 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 a little bit <risa> a fin de poner de pequeño un tazgar en la ropa. <risa> Namely, to remove the clockwork key from the raised platform up ahead. Cabe, I just realized you said with wood and earthenware strewn all around, the demon feline's fury can't be quelled, reducing them to rubble on the ground. Uh, no, no you don't. I wrote that line. As the outlander stands before the clockwork key, they're overcome by a sudden urge to set it free. Also, Cafe, that'll be my last rhyming line. I'm not writing any more poetry until you apologize. <laughs> uh, what does it matter anyway? I've lost count of how many people have tried this before. No one's getting that key out. Strong as stone. Firm as steel, the Outlander pulls, but it does not feel. This has happened many times before, but this time is different. A thought enters the Outlander's mind. Attack! Attack! First to weaken the structure, then seize the treasure! Yeah, I noticed that too. It's one standard for us and another for you. That's not fair, Cape. The attack now over! Only one final step remains! Now it is the time to seize the key! But alas, as was the case for all those who had come before, the key still did not move an inch. Wait, what? They got it out? Yes! Finally! Come on, move your butts! And your lights, assuming they're still in working order, it's showtime! No hard feelings about your lack of poetic contributions? Oh, let it go! Ah! Welcome, esteemed and noble outlander. Allow us to introduce ourselves. We represent the three great clans of this realm, having been selected as its authorized historical supervisors. Our purpose being to await the arrival of one such as yourselves who shall remove the clockwork key. My name is... You're Cape, he's Albizzi, and that's Boborano, right? You've done so much talking that we can already tell you apart by your voices. Aren't we missing someone, though? The guy who led us here to begin with? Who? <clears throat> and thus was born the long-awaited fellowship, destined to uncover the truth of the past. Allow me to quote, if I may, in the history of Constellation Metropole, a new page has begun. Him. Well, there's no fourth person, so which of you is the ventriloquist? Come on, out with it. We've never heard that voice before, but he sounds like he'd be good at reading bedtime stories to children. Well, whoever it is, I don't know and I don't care. Forget about him. We have far more important things to focus on, like where our journey goes from here. That key you hold is the pivot point about which the past and present of the Metropole revolve. However, between our three clans, there is some... dispute over the historical record. Each clan has its own version of history, 
detailing the clan's origins and the tale of the dragon of old. And unfortunately, we don't know which one is the truth. Dragon? You mean the one that's been acting up recently? Oh, no, 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 not that one, you adorable little pixie. When I say dragon of old... <laughs> he means a dragon that would be really, really old if it was still with us today, but it was defeated in ancient times. The new one has nothing to do with our clan history. Uh, was that supposed to be a joke? <clears throat> uh, anyway, so you've been waiting for someone to remove the key so you can finally explore the truth of the past? Not just explore it, but argue incessantly about it. Honestly, I don't care that much. Cafe's the one who's always bothering us about it. What we need to figure out is who resolved the dragon crisis. We have to know that before we can decide which is the supreme clan. The moment you removed the key from where it was lodged, you became the honorary marquis. We humbly beseech you, noble outlander. <laughs> Noble Traveler Marquis, we ask you to help us. You and your... your talking Puss in Boots and the pale floating pixie. Puss in Boots? Are you serious? It's better than Demon Feline, but still... Embrace it, my friend, embrace it! Most cats don't wear boots or speak, do they? <laughs> I'm not even a cat, I'm a Nekomata! Now that you know the word, I expect you to use it. Please allow me to lead you all to a sacred memorial site. It will be much easier to explain what needs to be done once we are there. This place is sacred to my clan. It's where our brave forefathers once took up arms against the dragon of old. After a bitter battle that dragged on for many days and nights, finally, our forefathers fought the dragon into submission, and it fled. They took turns, though. Some forefathers worked the day shift, while others worked the night shift. <laughs> so they say, it's just a legend, though. Wait a second? Did I just hear you admit that your clan's history is just a legend? A history, legend, who cares? My clan was definitely courageous, that's the point. That's the truth. And isn't the truth what we've all been arguing about non-stop for all these years? Cape's words gave the Traveler food for thought. Could it be that the truth in a fictional world is equivalent to fiction in the real world? But that would have to wait. Apparently, Cape was not alone in his pilgrimage to this sacred site. Unwanted company had arrived. The Traveler and the Talking Cat... <clears throat> Nekomata decided to teach them some manners. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was as if the spirits of my ancestors were fighting through me. The time. may be wrong, but maybe the Traveler Marquis is a lot more powerful than your ancestors. Technically, your martial prowess and show of courage are a more vivid reenactment of my ancestors' feats that suit the modern aesthetic. Now, let's get down to business. As we all know, Time is but an illusion. Time may flow line by line, page by page, or frame by frame, but usually it flows in the form of springs and gears. And that clockwork key you have in your hand can turn back time and make the past reappear. Well, actually, my view is that the illusion of time is more of a problem of consciousness. Gears power the body, while the body is the vessel of the conscious mind. 
But the mind cannot understand the dimension of time, so we experience instead an endless continuum of moments as the pinion of now turns along the rack of ages. I... I'm getting flashbacks to when I was delivering packages to the Sumeru Academia. A teacher once asked Albizzi what his greatest fear was, and he replied, dragons. Boberano was asked the same question. He replied, time, and repeated the argument we just heard. The teacher then turned to Cape and posed the same question. He replied, Boberano. The manuscript that tells the truth of the historical record, the blueprint to all of creation, the work of the great mage themselves, it can be found at the beginning of the gear rack and on the very first page of the book. Paimon uh, didn't follow all that, but basically, you're just saying that we need to put the key in and turn it all the way back? Exactly. It is said that in the beginning, the goddess of creation took the goddess of fate's manuscript as a blueprint, placed it under the goddess of prophecy's starry realm, and generated the world from a few magic arrays. So in a few moments, when the great clockwork key turns the local time here back to the very beginning, we will restore the magic arrays back to their original configurations. Hold on, isn't stealing part of the blueprint of creation a little dangerous? Also, how are we supposed to know the original configurations of the magic arrays? Ah, uh, well, the general shapes of the configurations have been passed down over the ages. They now form the family crests of each of our clans. So you'll just need to reference my family crest and join the dots accordingly. To address your other concern, when the house has already been built, do you really think that taking away the construction crew and blueprint will cause it to collapse? The Traveler Marquis prepares to insert the Great Clockwork Key into the nearby keyhole. sacred writings that record the truth of... No, wait. That have shaped the truth of history. Gather round and let us bear witness. Estás loco, si sigue gritando, si vas a traer al dragón. Eres un niño, te acaso no puedo ver que se haga nada destruir muy bien, te construimos entre todos y a ti solo te preocupa que el dragón regrese. Franco le hubiera encantado poder patearle al jefe de la aldea en aquel momento. No obstante, en lugar de eso se contuvo a recordar que el jefe de la necesidad para enterrar la seguridad de la gente de la aldea. Franco sí, pero que tú quieras han llegado a la mayoría de las aldeas, así que claro que no pensar. Queridos vecinos, ustedes de verdad piensan que tenemos que seguir aguantando esta. No es que queramos seguir aguantando esas cosas, pero no tenemos forma de enfrentarnos al dragón. El dueño de la tienda le metió ¿Quién ¿Quién le ha dicho que no? ¿Acaso no han visto cómo salté hacia el cuello del molino viento para apuñalar dos veces con mi espada antes de que cayera al suelo y viviese? Todos trabajan muy duro para construir el molino, pero no están los hijos con Por eso que quieres las palabras de eso. Así pues, dan las manos de siguieron montar la cara. 
Sin embargo, Frank Carter antes la subiera para atrás. Será mejor que lo hagas todo de casa por vida. Es sensible de la que siente todo no nada de la tía, sino de la furia. Si tuviera que ser un enfrentar unos ataques en es calma, entonces podemos decir que nuestras acciones seguían por el valor. Nos echaron todos a casa. Al día siguiente todavía había muchos jóvenes que en el ángulo no eran francos a apretarse a nuevo. Imaginaba que esa gente poseía la protección de la diosa de la carta magnífica. El dragón malvado conocía al valiente y no fue capaz de escupir fuego ni de usar sus garras. Me preguntaba si sus rivales pudieran hacer un pausa de combate y por turnos. Así, tras incontables días sin hechos de combate, el dragón no puso por turnos, así que prefirió rendirse. Feast your eyes, rejoice and cheer, for this is the unquestionable truth. Look at the signature. Nobody is capable of forging that. I don't believe it. So, all along, our histories have been false? Don't lose heart, Albizzi. It does not follow from his is true that ours are false. That might be the most bogus logic I've ever heard. But keep up the mental gymnastics, Boberano. I've been waiting for that look of jealousy on your face my whole life, and I'm going to savor it. And yet, it seemed that this conundrum could indeed have more than one solution. Everyone agreed that there may be more than one truth. The party decided to visit the sacred sites of the other clans and see what their documents had to say. Isn't a narrator supposed to remain detached and objective? It feels like you're forcing a narrative agenda on us here. Well, whatever. I'm in a good mood. Let's do it. The instructions say to repeat the process three times, and besides, I'm looking forward to watching you both be sorely disappointed. Let's do my clan next. I'll lead the way. We'll need the key again, right? Let me see if I can pull it out. Yoink! <laughs> Vamos tres y medio. Tres y medio. Just 
chance is for you.
Lo siento, esto lo puedo hacer cinco veces.
for comp solo desafío más y 890 te quedas hacer ya está más para el... eh, hay un caso por ahí gracias a todos por vernos